Welcome to the channel. This is Keto Mike 4, Zulu Kilo Bravo. My name is Jerry. Wanted to follow up on the 49 to 1 transformer that we built a week or so ago. And uh, this is because of feedback I got and some things that were pointed out that I did not uh, know at the time. And that has to do with efficiency and insertion loss. Now this transformer that we built works according to the design, works according to spec. It does what it's supposed to do. It provides antenna matching from a in-fed half wave antenna which is around between 2400 and, and 2600 ohms down to the 50 ohm that our radio requires, which that makes it 49 to 1. Uh, for, uh, if you divide 2,450 by 49, that comes out to 50. So that, that's the purpose of the transformer, and it works as designed. So it's not a problem with it whether or not it works or not. It works as it's supposed to, as we tested it and illustrated when we built this and went through the testing procedure. It does what it's supposed to do, but it's not very efficient in transferring that power that's input to our antenna or even the power that is received on the antenna back into our radio. There are losses. And that's what I'm going to address today. We're gonna to go through some testing and I'm going to put two of these transformers back to back and show what the losses are going through through those transformers. So um, let's get it set up and I'll show you the setup. This is the setup we're going to use to do our testing. But what, what I've got here is out of, out of port zero, we're going to be sending a signal into this transformer here that's not inside a case but it's identical to this transformer that's inside the case we've got a uh, 100 picofarad capacitor on the leads here we've got the ground connected to the ground here on on this transformer and we have the antenna lead connected over here to the antenna lead and then we've got the other cable going back into S1 on the nano BNA. And that's that's our test setup. This this will give us readings of the signal coming out of S0 going into this transformer, going into this transformer, and then back out into S1. So all the readings that we take initially will have to be divided by two to find out what each one is introducing. Okay, we've got the Nano VNA set up now, and we're sitting on 3.827 megahertz for the 80 meter band. Our reading there, negative 1.384 dB, going through both of the transformers. We'll go on up to the uh, 40 meter band, 7.235. We're reading negative 1.298 db all these readings we're going to have to divide by two because this is going through both of the identical transformers so we need to get the reading for one let's go on up to the 20 meter band at 14.267 reading negative 1.33 db going up to 17 meters i'll be putting all this data into a spreadsheet so that you we can talk about it later and here at 17 meters, we're 1.457. We're going up to 15 meters, 21 megahertz. So at 21,300, we're negative 1.697. Going up to 12 meters. At 24.925, we're negative 2.29 db I'm going up to 28 megahertz 10 meter band so negative 3.54 db 
So let's get this into a spreadsheet and then we can talk about it some more. Okay, here's our test results. This is for 49 to 1 un un, 14 secondary turns, two primary turns. It's, it's wound on two FT240 43 toroids in a stack and it uses a generic 100 picofarad capacitor across the uh, center conductor to the shield. As you can see here for the 80 meter band at 3.827 megahertz, we had a loss of 1.38 through both of them. You divide that by two, that comes out to 0 0.69. 0 0.69 equates to 85% efficiency. So for every 100 watts you put in, you get 85 watts out for a loss of 14.7, you may as well say 15%. And then go down to 40 meter band, the 7.235, we had a 1.3 dB loss through both. And divide that by two, we get through one, we get a loss of 0.65 dB. For 86%, it's come up just a little bit from the previous one, a loss of 13.9 or 14 dB. On the 20 meter band, 14.267, we had a negative 1.33 dB through both, 0.66 dB through one for 86%, you may as well say, or 14% loss. At a 17 meter band at 18.110, we had a loss of 1.46 dB, uh, which equates to 0.73 dB through each one. So approximately 85% efficiency again. The, these are all pretty close right here. Uh, they're, they're within one dB all the way across there. Really, uh, there's uh, one and a half, one and a half dB across all, all the, the bands 80 through 17. And then on 15 meters at 21 megahertz, we had a loss of 1.69 dB, which equates to 0.85 through each. So 82% efficiency, a loss of 17%. On the 12 meter band, we had a loss of 2.29 through both, or 1.15 through each for 76.8 or 77% efficiency, 23% loss. And then the 10 meter band is where it really took a hit. Uh, 28.332 megahertz, we had a loss of 3.54 through both. And divide that by two, we had a loss of 1.77 dB. Basically, one third of your power is going into heat. So you got a 33% loss. This, this wattage here is never making it to your antenna. It's being consumed or lost as heat going through the core of the transformer. So it never, never gets through. And conversely, any signals that are being received also have this same insertion loss. So the signal coming in from your antenna is reduced by this much across these bands as well. Even though this works as designed, it does provide the matching that it's supposed to provide, you know, with a 49 to one, where it's 2,450 ohms at the antenna and 50 ohms going into the radio. That part works, but the thing is, in doing so, in this particular configuration, there's loss up to one third, up to one third of the power going through it is lost and a minimum of 14% is lost. So there are hundreds of thousands, if, if not <laughs> millions of these out there on the market, either commercial or wound pretty much the same way. And I would say the vast majority of all of the 49 to one unons are built in this fashion with this particular 14-2 uh, twist and winding. So it's, it's not this particular unit, but it's just inherent in this design that there's gonna be 
similar losses within a, within a one or two DB, regardless of if it's homemade or whether it's purchased. So what I'm going to be doing over the next few videos is I've got parts on order to where I'm going to try different toroids. I'm going to try different windings. I'm going to try different capacitors. And all those together, we're going to see which is more efficient. This style, or there's two other styles that I'm currently looking at. So if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button down below there. Give it, give it a like also, and you'll be notified when the next videos are available. It should, should be sometime in the next week or so as the parts come in. The parts are already on order. Just waiting on the parts and we'll get it built and get it get it tested and see if we can have better efficiency than what this one has and as we measure the new transformers we'll come back and compare the readings to this one to see where we have the best efficiency out, out of the different transformers don't forget to like and subscribe share it with your friends if you got anything out of it, please consider making a donation through the Buy Me A Coffee because I have to I buy all these parts. I'm not sponsored, so there is an expense involved in making these videos. I hope, hope you get something from it. I hope I present it in a way that's, that's beneficial to you, and we can all learn as we go through this hobby together. This is Kilo Mike 4, Zulu Kilo Bravo, Jerry saying have a blessed day.